So if you want to go back to where you came from, all you can do is go back to the graveyard of ships. If needed. But we won't be needing to go back there. Let's see, we got all five golden spatulas here in this level. So now let's go to Mr. Krabs. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! Swab the poop deck! Really? Again? I did that joke with Squidward already. Oh, I already did that joke with Squidward, Mr. Krabs. Yes, well, it's a good one though, eh? Oh, sure is! Here's what you need to do. Destroy all the power generators on the robot ship! Once the power is off, you'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons to destroy the robot ship! Cannon do, Mr. Krabs! And now what we must do is... Save the Dutchman's ship from the robot ship. You need to destroy all the power generators on the robot ship! And that's what I'm about to do. Destroy the power generators to destroy that robot ship. So anyway, why don't we get the cannons ready? You can just press these buttons in order to get them ready to destroy the sh robot ship. Let me see if I can defeat that robot with the cruise bubble quickly before that bubble grease comes back. Oh, and I destroyed it. I defeated that robot. Let's see, did I miss anything? I think not, so why don't we move along? So here's one of the power generators, and here's more power generators. And then... All the way up here, you can switch to Sandy. I feel like a new sponge. It's gonna be uh, ideal to switch to Sandy, cause over here is one of Patrick's lost socks. Oh. That's how you get the sock. I didn't know that. I thought you had to get all the way over there. On the other side of the ship. Or to swing on the hooks to get the lost sock. Did not know that until now. Didn't know it was that close to the ground. All you had to do was jump on these platforms. Or on those waste barrels in order to get that sock. However, we did get man we did manage to get all three socks in this level. Oh. 
happen now? There are two options. You need to use a bubble wall as Spongebob to get all the way up there. Or I'll just use Sandy to swing on one of these hooks. Like get this cannon ready right here. I can get all the way up here. Maybe to jump across, well, lasso across here. And now all the robot cannons are destroyed. As we can get the cannons ready to fire them. Now what we want to do is switch to Spongebob. In order to get this cannon ready. Once you have all four cannons ready, you can open this chest. Well, it lets you open this chest right here, which reveals a button, which lets you fire the cans onto the robot ship. I meant cannons. Did I say cannons or cans? I don't remember. However, what we must do is go on these platforms and all cannons are ready to fire as we have a golden spatula ready for us. However, we're not done yet. What you want to do is avoid Chuck here. Then go on this platform to get a couple of shiny objects. So yeah, that sock that was floating up here. I thought you had to get it from all the way here. Because that's what I've been doing. All of my 16 years playing this game. But instead I've reached it easily. I know yeah, before... We fire the cannons. What we want to do is... There's that trampoline right over there. I want to get this golden spatula first. And then there's another golden spatula to get. What you have to do is jump on that trampoline. Okay, so I didn't make it. Someone better make good use of all these. I don't think I'll be able to walk on that rope carefully. But at least I reached that purple shiny object. That's how I make it down. There's another golden spatula right here. As we have 87 right now. As we got 7 golden spatulas in this level. And 3 of Patrick's Lost Socks. However, I'll show you where to get the last golden spatula.
I'm gonna do is torch the Spongebob first. And now all the cannons are ready to fire. Let me just double check again. So we've gotten everything. And now let the cannons fire onto that robot ship. And now the Flying Dutchman got his ship back. Boy, we did all that stuff, and you're backing out like a sea weasel. Sea weasel? Ah, oh, them's fighting words. If you want this gold thingy so bad, come and get it. You're on. And now, the Flying Dutchman is refusing us to give us the gold spatula. We can go back to Graveyard Lake, but first, what we must do is defeat that Flying Dutchman, or we battle our next mini-boss. So what it does is appear, then shoots beams at you. It does this twice. Shoots the beams out twice and then does another set again. And now once he does this, that's when you must lasso his tail. Now we must do this again, only this time he does it three times. And I'll do this two more times. All you want to do is avoid those beams. And now, when he does this again, all you want to do is lasso his tail. Now he does this four times. This is the last time where we need to lasso the tail. So the Flying Dutchman is... becomes our friend and now he's our enemy. Sorry my laptop has a low battery but after this appears a cutscene. So I'll try to plug my laptop back on. And now Spongebob decides to create a bubble replica of okay, the Dutchman's ship. 
Because you got that golden spatula from the Flying Dutchman. And also my laptop was not plugged in. As the batteries was run blah. The battery was running low. That would have been bad if the battery ran out. And I had to start the whole game over for this walkthrough. But anyway, you can go back to the Graveyard Lake here, however there's no bus stop at the Graveyard Lake. So what we can do is just intentionally fall down, it's not possible to get over there without dying. What we can do is switch to Spongebob. We've gotten everything in this level. Yep, we've gotten everything, so we can now go back to Graveyard Lake. As you can go back to the Flying Dutchman battle whenever you want. Okay, SpongeBob, no need to say that three times. Okay then, just want to collect more shiny objects along the way. And now, what we can do is, just checking again, just in case if I don't have to go back somewhere. What we can do now is go back to Bikini Bottom. Yeah, that would have been bad. My computer having, well, my laptop to have low battery. I could have turned off in the middle of my walkthrough. In the middle of my part, that is. That's because I didn't know that my laptop wasn't plugged in. But anyway, we only have one more level to go. I'll show you where it is in a bit, but first... What we can do is... Go back to Patrick, or... Not really go back to Patrick, but... Collect more shiny objects along the way.
find my lost socks? Not yet, Patrick. Oh. Did they find you? You might be hearing that from Patrick one more time. You only need one more golden spatula from Patrick. See what I mean? Return the last 10 socks to Patrick. We only have 5 of those 10 last socks. And then... We'll just have one more level to go. And then off this walkthrough, I will be collecting as many shiny objects as I can. Well, 40,000 shiny objects for the movie theater, that is. So that's why I want to get as much shiny objects as possible. Alright then, over here is the movie theater, which is where we'll be going to before we go to the chum bucket and after we go to the next level. The next level is going to be Spongebob's Dream, which is a quite interesting kind of level. So yeah, anyway, next time we meet, the next level we'll be going to is Spongebob's Dream, the last level of the game. See ya!